Let's bang these out, shall we? In the most thoughtful and loving way possible. Of course. So this is the current state of my studio. It's comfy, just a tad echoey, but perfect for twirling. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> and this is the current state of the living room. <laughs> There is quite a bit to do in my studio before I can actually move all of this back in and continue on with non-renovation projects. And I cannot do any of it right now because yeah, sourcing materials, basically. So I figured what better time to finally force myself to alter all of those handmade articles of clothing that I dumped in a pile at the start of the year, right? Why are there so many? Um, step one, I'm gonna need a makeshift sewing studio. I think that'll do. Ooh, very rolly chair. Y'all, I was doing all of the befores a minute ago, and while I was changing, I managed to um, yeet as the kids would say, my glasses across the room. Oh, oh. I just broke my glasses. Good thing I had some super glue, but uh, I guess I need new glasses now. Grand. Just perfectly dark here, that's great. Okay, and we know that I'm not really looking forward to this, right? You know, I talked about it. It's not my favorite thing to do. So because I would like to procrastinate just a little bit more. I thought I'd go on a bit of a side quest because it feels like there's never been a good time to do this. So I'm gonna pretend that now is a good time to do this. Expert sewists, get ready to clutch your pearls. I have never once cleaned my sewing machine. Yeah. We are past two years of sewing now and no, not even a little bit. The most attention it's gotten from me in that department is this. <laughs> Scold away, I accept it. Y'all, I have no idea what any of this is, except for the buttonhole foot. Um, do I need a tutorial? Uh, ooh. You know, I actually used to clean my mom's sewing machine for her when I was a kid. So you'd think I'd slightly remember how to do that, but nope, I think I need a tutorial. <laughs> That's a screwdriver? Oh God, why are you so tight? Ah, it's almost like that hasn't been removed in two and a half years. You come off now? There we go. <laughs> oh, y'all. Uh, we've got just chunks of lint. Chunks of it. Oh, look at that. I mean, honestly, I haven't felt like anything has been affected. Like if my machine was skipping stitches or something, then I would have been like, oh, it needs to be cleaned, but it hasn't really been doing anything. <laughs> Whoops. It's bad. I fully, I fully take blame. This is bad. That is a bunch of compressed lint. Nice. That's honestly kind of cool. All right, come back in like 12 years and I'll be done dusting. Alrighty, well, if that made you cringe so hard that your head almost exploded, sorry. You can leave me a comment every six months or so reminding me that I should clean it. That genuinely might help actually. <laughs> but enough of that. Let's get started. I'm gonna start with my very first piece. <sighs> ah, but I'm not gonna do them all in order. That's just, I don't know. I know what I'm gonna do with that one, so it's an easy one to start with. Um, hmm. <laughs> Come here, my dear. Oh God, ow. <sighs> Let's switch to voiceover, cause this house is freezing and I'd really like to turn on the heater. Oh my goodness, you're so flat. Are you a flat puppy? Yeah. Okay. Oh goodness. That's a lot of dramas. You're so silly! You're so silly! Oh, this big jump! Yay, big jump! Are you a crazy boy? 
Yes, you are a crazy boy. Got a whale of a tail to tell you, lads, a whale of a tail or two. About the flapping fish and the girls I loved on nights like this in the moon above. Whale of a tail and it's all true, I swear by my tattoo. Does anyone else remember that song? I'm not that picky about hem lines, but the hem on this baby is pretty dang wonky. So I measured it and cut it all to the same length. This skirt is also lacking pockets, a criminal offense in my wardrobe, but I didn't really want to cut into the sides to add side seam pockets, so I created some simple patch pockets, lined them up where I want them to go, and did a double row of stitching to secure them down. I then considered hand stitching the entire hem of this giant circle to avoid the issues it had previously, but then I remembered that this is made out of microfiber sheets from Goodwill that have already snagged in multiple areas, and I could make an entirely new skirt out of better fabric in the amount of time it would take to hand sew the hem. That's ridiculous. So I just did a rolled hem on the inside layer and then like a more proper baby hem where you do the fold once, stitch, cut off the excess, fold again, and stitch again on the outside hem. One down. A whole lot more to go. It's already pretty late, which is fine. I knew this first one would take me a while, but I'd love to get one more done before I turn into a pumpkin for the night. So I'm going to replace the cowl neck that I just don't like very much with a simple neck binding on this dress. After seam ripping it off, I could cut the strip of binding out of that neck piece itself, and then I trimmed down the neckline just a smidge and sewed it on there. Wahoo! Two down! On day two, I decided the only way I could survive the living room being this messy was to clean the rest of the house. Was that also an excuse to procrastinate on upcycling until after lunch? Maybe. I started with what I have dubbed the penguin dress, which I was gonna just shorten for easier walking, but then I decided, you know what, let's make it a shirt instead. So I cut it off created a strip to sew around the hem and cinch it in, closed up the neckline a little bit more, and for good measure, chopped off those long sleeves that would never survive a full day's work around here anyway. Three. Now, I originally said I would turn this dress into a skirt because the top simply refuses to fit me right. Curse you, commercial patterns. But first, I decided to give the bodice one last try. So I added extra darts and some seaming along the edge and, well, it still didn't look great. In fact, maybe it looked even worse. So I chopped the whole thing in half, like an old school magician with a lady in a box. Cut a waistband out of the leftover fabric and sewed that baby on. The waistband on this dress is for some reason both dropped way too low and also too small. So I was planning to separate the bodice from the skirt and sew the skirt on higher, which would make it kind of more tunic looking. Hello? Hello, stinky breath. That's my toe. Ow. Soft. Oh. 
Oh, kill. Are you just being a little fancy boy on your sloth? <laughs> Look at your little cross paws. Mims. 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 Go. Oh. oh, my little squish. But after cutting it in half, I decided it was much more fun to turn it into two separate pieces. So I just folded over the top of the skirt and the bottom of the top and strung some elastic through there. Granted, this was always meant to be an underdress cause it's, you know, see-through, but um, I'm kind of loving the two piece flouncy cute style here. So do I need to make this in a different fabric? Yes. I yeah. ended up making so Huzzah! Oh, there it went. Boom! We got a diagonal. I made the waistband on this skirt way too big because I was not allowing for stretch. So I need to take out a solid six inches. Yeah. I thought about just slipping some elastic in there to tighten it up, but it also doesn't have pockets. And we already talked about the no-no, that is no pockets. So instead I slip the sides down to where that pattern starts and went on an adventure to find the remaining fabric. Yes, my fabric pile looks insanely huge when it's dumped on a bed like this. Oh, <gasps> what? It was right there. Oh. I cut out some bag pockets. Thank you. Slapped them in there, stitched it all up, and it was bedtime. Or at least close enough to quit for the night. Six. Why is this taking so long? Why? Armed with coffee, I faced this dreary, cozy, rainy day and the remaining pile. Y'all, can you tell how much fun I'm having with this? It's okay, it's good. This was a good choice. It needed to be done. I'm starting with this oversized dolman sleeve shirt, which just does not fit or fall right or anything. I do love the fabric though, and there's plenty of it here. So I decided to change it into an entirely different shirt, something more form fitting and summery to go with the cherries. I cut out a simple front and back, then added several strips of fabric to bind the top edges and become straps. And it ended up being a cute halter top. take on this lovely purple split side dress next. This is theoretically simple. The shoulders just need to be taken up so they don't slide off me with the weight of those swooshy sleeves. Yes, mine was the other. <gasps> the Damn it. Ugh. I'm unpicking the wrong thing. I just had to carefully unpick the neck binding, sew a diagonal seam to tighten the shoulder by like two inches each, and then sew the binding back on. Things got a little weird in those square neckline corners, but psh, I made it work. Y'all, this couch is like a fancy West Elm couch. 
fancy because it was for Matt's studio, but his studio doesn't exist right now. So we stuck it in the living room, but quite literally, it is his couch. It is this little beast's couch. We use the cheap ass Ikea couch that we've had for years. He uses the fancy West Elm couch. Such a fancy boy. Okay, what's next? The red pants. If you saw the sewing journey in review video where I made this pile, you may recall that I actually put these in recycling, not upcycling. But so many of you in the comments said, no, those look so good on you, that I pulled them back out. I think if I just unpick the inside waistband that I attached, which is what's stopping the waistline from stretching and being comfortable, I can replace it with some elastic. Bing, bang, boom, this was the fastest upcycle yet. And yeah, now they're totally comfy and all good. Thanks for making me do that. Nine done. Let's keep going. I was going to line the hood on this dress with a different fabric, but I really like the slippery inside of the stretch velvet. So I think I'm just gonna still use that, but you know, ah. make it proper so the seams are all on the inside and stuff. This means starting with a whole bunch of careful unpicking of seams. Ooh, baby. Oh, Lord. That's what takes the most time, y'all. Not actually doing the fixed, just undoing the, the mess stuff. Whoa. Once I had the hood separated, I created three new pieces of um, not quite the same shape and size, but that's okay, I have a plan. And then, yeah, it's just stick it all together, turn it right side out, sew it back on. About an hour of work. Woot woot. Lined. doesn't count because it's store-bought, but I do want to sew the strap back on. We are getting there. Ow. Time for the stripy dress with too wide of a neckline and no pockets. I could have just sewn the neckline closed more, but a lot of people suggested putting in little like gussets or gores, triangles of fabric there to cover more of that area. So yeah, I went with that. It was a little persnickety of a process, but I think it worked out well. For the pockets, I just cut two square-ish shapes with the leftover navy blue fabric I have, unpicked the side seams on those navy side strips, and then inserted sort of a patch pocket style pocket, like where they're sewn into the two side seams, kind of like I do on my princess seam dresses. Super easy. his couch. Why is this in here, you may be asking? You just made this and you had no problems with it. Well, check this out. Uh, what the crap happened there, huh? I don't know. Like that's where the zipper is and yes, I didn't cover it or cut it off or anything. So, you know, maybe that's on me. Also, it is a really cheap fabric, so. But like I washed it. I put it in the wash and the dryer after painting my entire room. And it did that. It's not like a piece I can replace. So the only thing I can think to do is literally like add a patch on top of it, which is gonna look weird. Did you throw your pom pom at me? Pom pom. It's gonna look weird, but also like they're coveralls. So that's okay. They're only meant for wearing when I get sweaty. Ready? Pom pom. <laughs> you missed. Uh, yeah, so it's getting late, but I think I have time to do that. Last little note. I'm not gonna fix this. I kept leaving it to last because honestly, I don't care enough about it. I don't. It's just a slip dress out of what is probably a polyester material. I fixed the red pants instead. This one's going in recycling. So, last one. You cut both your pom-poms? Wow. How did you get both at once? Are you just that 
good. Ew, they're both so gross. Munch. Oh no. Oh, Bubby. How am I fixing this? Yeah? Are you being so helpful? Are you the most helpful boy? You didn't catch it. Well, that's what we're gonna do. Well, that was fun, right? Can you tell I'm lying? Hi! Oh my goodness! <laughs> well then. Now, honestly, y'all, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Like, at first, it was taking longer than I expected. And then, once I got going, especially on day three, it started taking shorter than I had expected with my adjusted expectations. Yeah? Oh, you're so nice. Bye. I need water. There's plenty of it outside. It's raining again. Um, some of them I definitely <laughs> did not exactly fix. I uh, maybe made them worse. And by some of them, I mean the cherry fabric. Y'all, that fabric, Oh, This is a weird angle, but I'm trying not to like just show our front yard here. I love that cherry fabric so much. I think just because it has cherries on it, but that like waffle print knit it just stretches way more than you expect it to, and it stretches out, so... <laughs> that halter top is still too big. Like, massively too big in the back. The front is fine. The back could lose, like, three to four inches. Which means I need to leave it in the upcycle pile, like it's the start of a new upcycle pile because I technically could still fix it again. I don't know, or should I just give up on this fabric? Should I just give up on it. Go find some other cherry fabric. I have other cherry fabric. <laughs> Everything else is pretty much fine. Like the patch on the coveralls is weird, but also like how do you patch that area without it looking weird? The purple dress feels so much better now. Like that was a simple adjustment that just mm, really, really made it better. And the red pants too. It was so easy to take off that waistband and replace it with elastic that's like folded into the inside so you can't see it. And now they're like perfectly comfortable. Yeah, everything else is like solid. All good stuff. Oh, and the, um, <laughs> I'm literally staring at it across the room and I lost all words. The cream dress that I turned into a two-piece set. I mean, because it's a see-through fabric, I can't like go around wearing that. And the skirt I think is still a little bit short, but I so want to make that in other fabrics now. It's so cute. Just like a matching set of like the sort of peasanty crop top and then a tiered short flouncy spinny swooshy skirt like that. Adorable. It's going on my list. Things I want to make. Fitzwilliam is just sprouting over there. Look at all those new sprouts up there. He looks like he's got a silly little hairdo. What was I doing? Yeah, glad I got all of that done. That's checked off the list. All of this stuff can go back in my closet now and I don't have a pile of clothes laying around. Um, the thing that I was waiting to happen by doing this video, AKA my studio being ready for me to move back into, there has been zero progress there. <sighs> I might be doing more projects from the living room. Ugh! I don't know. At this point, I don't know. Next week could be me finishing my studio, or it could be me back here stealing the puppy's couch, making stuff from this makeshift studio in the living room. I mean, I can't really complain, y'all. I have so much space. I am gonna go 
eat the pineapple I just roasted. Oh, burpees! <laughs> Hello! Every guy here loved to be you, Gaston. And it's not very hard to know why. Can you calm the f*** down? Ah. Ooh, ba doo boo Blue as the wings of the heron in the sky. Or whatever. Yeah. Good burp. Thank you.